as Cincinnati's largest mud run. Janelle Walton met with the organizer to find out where he plans to get down and dirty around town. This field beside Skate Town USA in Westchester will be turned into one big muddy course for Cincy Nation Mud Run. Mud runs are becoming extremely popular and about two million people do them a year. So I thought of bringing that popularity to Cincinnati itself. Getting through all of that mud is challenging enough. Then you've got 50 plus obstacles as part of the race. We got trampoline jumps, we got rope swings, we got mud pits, log climbs, we got um, monkey bars, Jacob's ladders, pretty much anything you can think of. Make sure you prepare for the race, practice running in wet shoes and clothes. Join a team, it will help you stay strong and take pictures of yourself before and after. Your friends will get a good laugh. What's opposite of all the other ones that are long runs and short amount of obstacles, we want to have People have fun, so it's good for beginners because it's only two miles, but then if you want the advance, we have over 50 obstacles to push yourself. Register now for the June 22nd race by logging on to CincyNationRun.com. A visit to the Taft Museum of Art will give you a rare opportunity to see popular works by African-American artists all in one place. People are saying, I had no idea that African-Americans uh, were this active in art. I mean, of course they are. We just haven't seen it. The exhibition, African American Art Since 1950, features works by great artists from the past and present, including Jacob Lawrence, Sam Gilliam, Faith Ringgold, and Romir Bearden. In this case, the Romir Bearden, he touched every piece of that. He cut every piece with the scissors. He glued every piece down. You can also see the Nick Cave sound suit, The Last Barbecue, and Deacon's Day. Time is running out. The exhibition ends Sunday, April 21st at the Taft Museum. For The List, I'm Janelle Walton.